Hello, my name is Neil Draper, and we're here today to talk about mare care on pregnant mares and fooling. And your mare, as she gets ready to fool, she may have it standing up or laying down. I've seen it both ways. And she will have it at any time. There's just no, in the middle of the night, middle of the day, she, just like any other animal, they could have it at any time. I've seen people stay up for night after night hoping to catch the mare having a colt, and the minute they t take a night off, that's when they have it. So if you're really that dedicated, be forewarned. They don't just have them when you think they're going to have them. And as the mare has it, and she's laying up or down, just you know, give her a little room. Let her feel comfortable. Don't get so close that she feels pressured or fearful of you. But, you know, you can get at a good safe distance and watch the process. And it should be a natural process, and she should have it all on her own. And as, as she has it, she, she's pretty well wore out. She's been in labor for quite a while, and she may lay there a while, and she may, may not. And she might get right up after she has it, and as she gets up, she will naturally cut the umbilical cord, and you... This is all a natural process. You don't have to worry about that. She'll walk off or the colt will move and it'll tear the umbilical cord and they'll be separated. Now, if it, if it doesn't happen, then you will have to do it yourself, but I'd give them some time. Don't, don't be in a rush to cut the umbilical cord. It's not like anything's gonna happen if you don't cut it immediately.